Welcome to part two of the encounter episode with Brendan. Um, if you guys aren't aware, this is part two. So if you haven't watched the first part with Brendan, you can go back on our channel and give it a watch. Um, highly recommend it. He, we were talking about Brendan's experience in different parts of the world and his experience with new age practices and uh, kind of where they're seen uh, in modern day uh, life. So if you haven't watched part one, go back, watch part one. Uh, and this is going to be part two of the episode with Brendan. God bless. When, we, when someone <coughs> listens to you, like if I was, if, like I'm listening to you now talk about all of your experiences with like the occult and mm. all of these different things. Um, and to me, it's very clearly a bad thing. To me, it's very clearly something I shouldn't do. And it's packaged nicely, though, isn't it? It is packaged very yeah, nicely. Absolutely. Um, but I think that's where, like, taking a step back is such a such an important oh. thing. Because, like, once you're in there, like, if you're in there and you're trying to judge what you're in, you're gonna oh, it's you're gonna just, seem like it's course. just yeah. you know it's it's perfect, it's fine. It's like it's, I'm receiving healing. Yeah. Um, like you know, nothing bad is happening. But as soon as you take a step back. And you actually see the roots of what you're doing and where it's coming from and who it's coming from. Exactly. If you, but we, no one is investigating. Like the, no one's what's, taking a step back. You know? Yeah. What's what's what what is like the? <clears throat> yeah. What what's what's the fix for 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 this? Like what what is the fix for the people that are, um, not just indulging in these things, but also the ones that are kind of facilitating these things. You know. Like as as a person who is living in Ireland, what like what what can I do? It's a really good question. You know, I think what's the fix? The fix ultimately and obviously and will forever be Jesus. Mm -hmm. And to evangelize, which is such a strong word as well. Yeah. Evangelize that so people don't always understand and like the word repent. People, what do you mean repent? I'm not doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Repent just means find out what's not pleasing to God and just decide not to do that because you love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. It, you don't have to go around whipping yourself every day. Yeah. But to, to preach that to people from an understanding and a place of brotherly love to a community and not speaking down to someone like they're doing anything wrong because mm -hmm. not one of us are deserving enough to go into heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only by God's grace and his love. And it's just to share that love that the people are loved. Yeah. And, you know, the world is, the world is in an awful heap at the minute. Like, look at the state of the place, Dion. You know, you're pregnant men running around the place. It's just, what is happening? Amen. And you've, you have lose themselves over small changes. You know, like your partner might be unfaithful to you or you might lose all your money on crypto and all of a sudden be brought down to zero. That happened to me. Right. But, you know, I mean, you, it, the world it says it in, <clears throat> is it Malachi 3 and 6? He says, I am the Lord your God <clears throat> and I change not. I mm -hmm. do not change. The only thing that is never going to change in a world of change is God and his promises and his love. Mm -hmm. And if we lean into that man, mm -hmm. if we learn, if we nestle into his, like, what's it? Less wrestling, more nestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if we, wrestle, if we nestle into the Bible more and we let God speak to us yeah. and we just stop doing what, you know, he'll tell you himself what he's unhappy about. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, didn't, they don't need to hear from you or me. Yeah. But he will speak to them through the Bible, mm -hmm. through the, the Holy Spirit. It's God, like Jesus baptized us in the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, you know, as a convictor, yeah. as the comforter. And it's a great thing Jesus said <clears throat> in the Bible, in, is it John 16, 33? And he said, I tell you, I've told you these things so that you can have peace mm -hmm. in being united to me mm -hmm. because the world will make you suffer. Mm -hmm. But be brave, I have overcome the world. Yeah. So he's the only thing that has overcome this world of change and he will never change. Mm -hmm. And his promises will never change. Yeah. But the world will always be wobbly under your feet. And it's, you know, we are as human beings built to problem solve and be given something to fix. And, you know, so we can evolve and create good things, you know. Yeah. But to worry and to fear and to be anxious is another thing. So yeah, I, I guess... <clears throat> I would, that would be what I would, that would be my angle to people yeah. who are involved in new ageism is to get out of it. And people don't even realize they're doing it, man, you know? It's innocence. Yeah, man. I mean, Paul was killing Christians. Innocence. He didn't realize he was doing anything wrong until yeah. God said, no. <laughs> you know, so you'd be forgiven, you know? 
Um, just try not to do it. And the same with people who aren't, just for mm. your, for people who are going to really struggle with mental health yeah. if, if, if things keep going. You know? What, what is... Um, <clears throat> I suppose we'll, we'll come back to mental health in a, in a, in a moment, but what, what, where is it kind of going, do you think, New Age? Like, what, what, where, where, what's the next sort of big thing to come out? Because um, I, I, I can fairly confidently say that there's something out there that the world hasn't heard of yet. Um, somewhere buried somewhere deep in the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, God, I'd have found it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah. What's what what is, what are some like the biggest dangers coming out now that people, yeah, that that are, that are coming out now mm. that people should be aware of. Um, well, there's two things there. Um, it's what it's what they what they're not being told. It's it's the problem and the answer are there. You know, I mean. I guess social media is probably one of the biggest. Mm. There's real, there's real danger in that, you know, yeah. the addiction to it and the algorithms. And God, oftentimes you try to post something about God, and you just, you just get shut down. Yeah, you know, man. yeah, that's getting worse and worse. You know, I think <clears throat> there's going to be the new age is always growing. You know, it's just growing and growing, and people not knowing they're doing any harm in witchcraft and all these gatherings, but. I feel it'll just be a point in time where the devil will, people will be distracted with that. Yeah. In in innocence, in ignorance, but, you know, it's like in the Bible, the book was there, why didn't you read it? Mm-hmm. You know, at the end. It might just be a kind, I think, well, my own personal opinion, to, you know, and I, I'm sure a lot of people share it in the world, I hope anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, the time is tight now and we're down to the wire with the Bible and the Christian timeline of things. Um might just be a time where just curtains fall and it's yeah. too late to go back. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know if there'll have to be another big new age craze. It's just people will keep going and all of a sudden mm-hmm. it'll be a bit too late for yeah. the time of grace. Get that running out, yeah. Know? Yeah. And um, yeah, if that kind of... That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, distraction. Distraction and deception all the way along. Yeah. yeah. In terms of in terms of mental health um, <coughs> and I don't know if this is yeah, like, because I, I know you have a lot to say with mental health. Um, well, what are some of the some of the key points that you would bring up to someone who is struggling with mental health? Um, and I suppose from an angle of like how not to go into the wrong things and not turn to the wrong things when you're yeah. in a in a state of, um, yeah, just not you know when you're not at a state of peace and, yeah. and you, you kind of just feel um, just uneasy. Um, like how, what? What is? What are some of the points you'd bring up there? Great, great question, dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wow, well, where could you go? Um, you know, it's it's a funny one because what so many people find to be helpful to them, it is helpful to them. I'm not going to say that it's not. You know, I've, we've, I've, I've studied mental health. We've got a couple of certificates and first aid and all this stuff through this organization yeah. in England, and it's great. Um, but, you know, a lot of mindfulness and self-help books and, you know, some of the worst thing you can do is completely empty your mind. Mm. Meditate that way because anything can get in there. Yeah. Now, what are you protecting yourself with? Yeah. Do you cover yourself with the blood of Jesus? Yeah. You know? Do you have a barrier? Yeah. Do you have a standard? Yeah. You know, a lot of like a lot of places who do these mindfulness retreats and these sacred spaces, it's a safe space. But what is your understanding of danger? Yeah, for man. a place to be safe because it's so peaceful that like it's almost too peaceful. That's it's it. like what what you've no idea what can get in. That's totally. Yeah. That's what happens quite often. I yeah. mean, I know I was. Yeah. No, we don't have no, we don't have time for that. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> there's a, but there's a lot, you know. There's and it's it's harmless. People are just unaware. But what's what people might benefit to know about Mm -hmm. is a lot of the new way, like call it mental health, well-being, mindfulness types of things that are are given to people are actually the gospels repackaged without God. Um, You look at, um, I don't know why, but the power of now by Eckhart Tolle. Mm -hmm. That's mostly, nearly all the gospel message, but just chewed up in a certain way and given back to you without any mention of God. Um, The new earth. Yeah, another book of his. Um, that's all the Bible without yeah. Jesus being mentioned. Yeah, I mean, you. If, what people, I guess, you know what? Actually, that's a really good question, Dion. <laughs> but 
just to come back to the Bible for a moment, like, the Bible is a living, breathing. It is alive, man. You yeah. know, like there have been times we were doing some like, some prayer and healing, and there's like some deliverance going on, and literally we just opened up Psalm 91, the prayer for protection, read it out loud, and left the pages open, and everything calmed down. Yeah. You know, there's power in those words. God's Appreciate word is that. alive. Yeah. It is a two-edged sword. You know, it is the sword of the spirit. Mm-hmm. If people are having a bad day, like, I don't mind sharing this, but I'm sure Lo- uh, Laura, who is here, mm-hmm. she's a fantastic testimony about scripture sure. and, and her, her own healing. Mm-hmm. But I know a guy in Dublin, um, oh, Schweima, is that his name? Lovely fella. Him and his wife, he had um, opened everything and he, God spoke to him and said, speak my word. And he went to Isaiah 53, 5, is it? By your stripes, I am healed. 45 minutes, he just said it and said it and prayed it and cried it and he was completely normal. He's just living out the road from here. God's word is alive. I mean, if anyone's having a bad time, <clears throat> I love this scripture, but if anybody's having a hard time mentally, Second mm-hmm. Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, for God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Mm-hmm. And you just, keep, you just keep saying, God, give me a sound mind. I do not need to experience fear. The mm-hmm. fear does not, if it doesn't come from God, you know who it does come from. Yeah. Anxiety, doubt, worry, fear, all those things. God doesn't want us to feel that way. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people who are into, have gone through a lot of like, new age stuff or whatever. There's lots of different reasons, but yeah. a lot of time, you mentioned earlier liberation, some deliverance prayers are good just to set people free. Mm-hmm. Do it and nestle in and don't go back to where you've been. And you yeah, know, God, God, has, God has made us to be of love and of power and of a sound mind. Yeah. So I really feel that for people that are, I would encourage people to open the Bible and give it a chance. Yeah. I don't think Irish people, as we have been known as the <clears throat> the island of saints and scholars, you know, there's a very few of us in the Catholic side of Ireland have very, maybe not a great insight into the Bible. Yeah. And the stories and the prophets and, and the power that's in the word. Yeah. You know, we've been maybe a little bit disconnected from that. And I think sure. I would encourage us all to embrace it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people in the New Age scene have painted the Lord Jesus, Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end. They've painted him completely with the same brush as the Catholic Church. Now, there's no New Age people, have any. nobody has any reason to... to reject Jesus but they've rejected the, the whole package but like just sit with the Bible get to know Jesus and you will find yourself back in the church again yeah yeah, you yeah. Know? but just it suited everybody For it suited sure, them to, to do yeah, it their way man. and that's, yeah. that's 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 yeah you know just I, I would recommend a little bit of maybe humility mm. um, for me from everybody you know like and the Bible is there for everybody to to heal yeah. them and to guide them and the Holy Spirit is in us and yeah For you know, sure man yeah. Low that power was, and the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was, that was heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. no, that was, that's honestly, that is such a, like, you're such a powerful, um, you're, you're just a living, like, testimony. Like, that. that is, it's so powerful to hear that from you. Yeah. Um, and to know that. that this would be going out to, like, a, a lot of people. Yeah. And a lot of people. I actually that, brought you a picture to show you. Oh, great, yeah. I mentioned Fernanda. Um, I'm going to send you a link and you can post it with the video. Mm-hmm. But Fernanda is in the Alpha and Omega missions. And okay. I mentioned she's been a receive, like she's been receiving messages from Jesus right, yeah. and Mother Mary since 1994, every single day. Mm-hmm. And I've been in her house and I've, like it's, she's just the most wonderful, beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. Um, but she took this photograph um, when she was in the Holy Land mm-hmm. uh, inside the tomb of Caiaphas where Jesus was kept in between his trials. Right, okay. And when okay. she developed the photograph, the photograph was covered in blood. And right. on the back of this photograph, God tells her why he gave her the picture and the prayer to pray over anybody who's sick. And I've used this like, in deliverance and I've used this in prayer for people over sick who mm-hmm. are sick. But, um, or healing rather, you know. Yeah. But um, it's a really lovely image. And I would just encourage everybody to embrace the that gift that was given to us. I mean, that blood of Jesus was, is, it was the quintessential turning point of the universe. Yeah, man. It was given to us as a weapon. For sure. And just to embrace it, but it's a lovely image. You can see it here. Wow. Yeah, we'll get it on the screen as well for, yeah. for the listeners. Wow. And you can turn it upside down and you can see Jesus, the crown of thorns here and the head and Christ. Mother Mary here. It's a really powerful image. Wow. But just for people to, um, 
Yeah, read up on the blood of Jesus because it gives us everything we need. His name and his blood. Yeah. Every battle, every bad situation, every 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 negative, everything. Just that's all you need. I feel like I feel like that's something people don't think a lot about. Would you be able to speak a bit more to the blood of Jesus and like like what does it mean to to look to and to turn towards the blood of Jesus? Like what 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 does that mean practically for a Catholic, for a Christian? Yeah, I mean there is a lot of Catholic it is practiced. I mean, uh, Father James Blunt has given us that right, the yeah, precious yeah. blood of Jesus mm-hmm. uh, heal us in the whole world as yeah. it, like 500 times for a thing and it works. But I guess like having a relationship with Jesus, he's the blood that he's, it's just the most protective. I mean, the blood of Jesus was shed seven times mm-hmm. and it granted us seven. There are seven gifts we got from it, you know, protection, sanctification, access to the throne of grace by his blood, redemption. Mm-hmm. And using it as a tool in spiritual warfare is mm-hmm. absolutely the only thing you need. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously the word as well. Yeah. But it's it's a lot of again going back into the new a lot of people are involved in what they call spiritual warfare. I suppose what's important is people a lot of people in the world today are so aware of the darkness that's out there in the world and the evil that's permeating our society. Yeah. And they think they're fighting it. Yeah. But the devil has all that in the bag. You know uh, it, you know, Russell Russell Brand has only recently come around to talking about Christianity and his journey. David Icke, all the big YouTube influencers, all mentioned the badness, but none of them have empowered people with Jesus as being the answer, mm. even though they'll talk about Satanism. But Jesus is the answer. His blood is the answer. And I think the more of a relationship we have with that, yeah, um, the better it is. And I, you know, I might even put up, I'll give you an Instagram handle of mine and I'll be, I'll, mm-hmm. I've got some Appreciate. information and some videos and people can tap into. Amazing. But it's just, we've been, Granted such amazing power as Christians. Yeah, man. And just to really shake it up. Yeah, <laughs> You yeah. know, it's like we're, we've been, we're just blessed. Yeah. And Jesus is counting on us. For sure. Mm. I kind of wanted to touch on, um, this is amazing, we can keep going on and on, um, and we'll turn this into a two-part series because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this, is, this is really cool. Um, awesome. I'd be happy to come back sometime. But what, you mentioned spiritual warfare there, <clears throat> um, and that is clearly a, like a very big thing that the church... Um, and the world is um, is up against yes, uh, sir. in this day and age. Absolutely. Um, yeah, as as a as a Catholic, like how how do you recognize that spiritual warfare? Like how do you recognize it, and how like what what is the approach to to spiritual warfare? Um, yeah, because I yeah. Yeah, like I'll I'll let you kind of run away with that because I feel like you you would have a lot to say there. Oh, I have so much to say. Um, you know. God, he doesn't, he doesn't allow all of the bad he uses for good, you know. Mm-hmm. And in my time in South America with that, going into those spiritual worlds, yeah, I kind of got a handle on a little bit of a, an understanding, you know. Mm-hmm. And having gone through living with Fernanda and other um, times in life, just being really in that mm-hmm. spiritual warfare. I guess whether we like it or not, we're in it. Yeah. You know, and I think the darkest of forces. Yeah. Yeah, this is where I think, uh, yeah, this is where it's coming to, just took yeah. my brain a second. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I guess <clears throat> the darkest of forces in on this earth are all fueled by the, by the enemy, by the yeah. evil one. The, yeah. the Bible talks about it. And mm-hmm. I think a lot of us shy away from those conversations Oh, but it's a reality. It was a three quarters of Christ's ministry in the New Testament was casting out of, of devils and demons out of mm-hmm. people and awareness of the spiritual warfare. You know, blessed are those who are, you have the eyes to see, you know. But there's so much going on spiritually that's being played out physically. Um, as I said, the darkest evil forces, the most strong, they, the only thing they are concerned about or worried about is a, is a dedicated Christian, mm-hmm. a person who knows their identity in Jesus a person who knows their identity and their power and their authority with his blood and with his name and with the word. They're not worried about any hocus pocus going on over there with the Reiki or going on over here with, and all this, witchcraft, no. Now, you ask some witchcraft, would you join Satan? But they would obviously say no, but they don't think that that's even, they're not not even aware it's the same thing. Yeah, man. So, the only thing that real evil is afraid of and defenseless against. Mm-hmm. Now, it's a bit of work to get rid of it when it's there, but it's defend- if you have it as protection, it is impenetrable. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the blood of Jesus and his name. And it's, it's, a, it's a battle that's going on around us all of the time. You know, I mean, I don't know how, where people are at with this, but you look at 
what happens in this physical world is played out spiritually. It has to come through the spiritual realms to get here. Uh, you look at the prophet Daniel, mm -hmm. and he prayed for 21 days on his knees. And then the angel Gabriel turned up. And Daniel was like, what took you so long? I've been here 21 days. And the angel Gabriel spoke at him and said, we, I heard your prayers. They got answered immediately. Or, you know, we heard you directly. But it took 21 days of battling against the Prince of Persia to arrive here. So there is a, there is a battle going on yeah. to have your prayers answered. And the further we go from God, the harder it is for those, for those prayers to be received. Yeah. And unless you're battling with Jesus and for Jesus, yeah. because Jesus was made manifest, it says in Hebrews, you know, the only reason the Son of God was made manifest and died was mm -hmm. to conquer him who had control over death, was the yeah. devil. Yeah. He's the only battle going on. There is no other battle. And if we nestle into Jesus and we put on the armor of God and we bring the battle to the gates of the enemy mm -hmm. and we stand strong in our identity in him, the world would be a better place. You know, I mean, you look at the Ukrainian flag, for example, is yellow and blue are blue on the top and yellow on the bottom. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Someone only talked to me about this maybe six months ago. I thought, oh my God, I'd never realized. But the blue represents the sky and the yellow represents a wheat field because the Ukraine is, Ukraine is the mm -hmm. breadbasket of Europe. Mm -hmm. And someone said, it's, it's, the wheat, it's a wheat field because it's harvest time. This is the harvest that Jesus spoke about. Yeah. And it's happening now, but the flags are spiritually telling us what's going on, you know? And I just thought that's so important that yeah. our people, the harvest is now, our, the workers are few. Yeah. Are we on board or not? Yeah, man. Uh, and there's a, you could say a lot about the other flags, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> pride, I won't get into the rainbows now. Yeah. But, um, you know, that that's another big one that has to be removed as well, because that is, yeah. a lot of those rainbows, I won't get into it too long, but they are, yeah. you know, they're physical, they're open declarations of the occupation of physical space by evil spiritual forces. And people don't realize that it's territory to the Christians are losing. It's not, yeah. it's not the evil, it's not evil's fault. Mm -hmm. It's Christians for not stepping into, yeah. you know, we need to arm ourselves up and oh, for sure, man. awareness, you know. No, you're spot on. Like yeah. there is, there is only one way to, to solve it. And that is to turn to the good. And like you said, that people like, people acknowledge that there is, there is some sort of evil in this world. Um, but the only way for that evil to succeed is to sort of like cover itself in good in like some in some way shape or form or it's like mimic itself totally. as in good yeah mimic exactly but like at the end of the day there is something good that if people find that good will be a lot more solid than something that's mimicking itself from being good absolutely um, just because like it's pure like it's essence is good yeah like and that you can't change that um, totally. and that is like that is just it's really good to hear from you, and I, like it's it's good because I've I've I hadn't heard a lot of that stuff either. Like, and that's just like, like I'm aware of new age, and I, I'm aware that it's happening. But like, even the thing about like the L O L dolls, like that's just yeah. I don't I don't know where that came from. That that's something it. that I would like that I would like buy my my young, my little sister like yeah. an L O L doll. And I wouldn't think twice about it. Oh, and it's and that's kind of a semi obvious one, I guess, because but I, I but I, that was like in the back of my mind For sure. somewhere. But when yeah. You, just some of the stuff that has come through. I'm part of a really great prayer group meeting in Kilkenny called Be Restored. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely prayer meeting, and uh, they got. But there's um, why did I mention that? Yeah, we were just talking about this as a group, but how 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 it gets in everywhere. Yeah, like mass-produced products. We you run the you run your radar switched on all the time. Yeah, man. But that's just that's the devil, you know. That is and it. I guess yeah, just bring Jesus in and. Amazing. Let him reign, you know. Let him reign over everything. Sure. And it's a hard thing for people to do to submit and like yeah. just. But it is. It's the way to go. For sure, these man. times, anyway. Yeah. Listen, man. Thank you so much for coming on. You're welcome. I really, I really do appreciate it, and it's, it's been. Yeah, it's been amazing <coughs> to talk to you, um, Thanks, and I've learned a lot, and I'm sure the listeners are going to have a ton of questions. Um, awesome. To to get to you, and we'll get those questions to you. Um, do you have any final words? Final words. Um, I've said a lot of words since I sat down here, Dan, but I would just encourage everybody to embrace their Bibles and, and uh, take that extra half an hour, yeah. maybe a little earlier every morning and let sure, Jesus man. take over their day. Absolutely. And um, yeah, he's knocking on the door of all the hearts at the moment. Great, man. It's a blessing. 
So if you want to get in contact with Brendan or get in contact with ourselves uh, to uh, either ask a question to Brendan or give some feedback on the show, um, or if you want to come on the show yourself, like I'm sure there are many people out there that have had similar experiences to you, um, whether it be in the same sort of field or whatever it is you're a part of, whether it's a ministry that you're a part of and you'd like to get out there, like do get in contact with us. We'd love to have you guys on. So you can call us on 014 You can email us at info at radiomaria.ie or you can throw us a text at uh, 089-467-2000. Um, and yeah, we'll pass on all the questions to Brendan. Awesome. Um, and I'll leave you, I'll leave you um, some link to this picture so absolutely. people can actually download it and print it and the prayer and absolutely. the story behind it. Absolutely. And um, actually, I'll leave a link for Fernanda's messages there. Great. She's like super turbo black five-star Catholic. <laughs> yeah, really and she's Catholic. still around. You were saying yeah, she's still she's, around. Yeah, she's in her mid-70s now, a powerful weapon of the An Lord. Amazing, oh my man. God. <laughs> And I will, yeah, I'll give you that and I'll throw an Instagram handle Great. and people can reach out if they ever want to. And Brilliant. Oh, good. Listen, man, thanks once yeah, again for coming on. Yeah. I'm to all of our listeners. Take care and God bless. See you. Thank you. <laughs>